wanderlusters, I'm Dry Bandy, and this is my channel for travelers and trailers at heart. Kind of doing a weird intro to this video because I was going to get up here on this little dune and make my intro, but there's a deer right there, so I have to be a little bit more quiet than I was planning on. Because that's why I didn't want to spook her. Anyways, with all that out of the way, I'm Dry Bandy, and this is my channel. Welcome out here at uh, Petoskey State Park right now. Try not to get you in the sun too much because it's going to be blinding. But the main thing that I was going to do here now that I'm out of the motorhome, I've just been hanging out here for a couple hours already. I am going to go try to hike up a dune. There's supposed to be a dune over that way. So I'm gonna go walk over there, see if I can find the hiking trail, and uh, check it out. But anyways, I guess before all that, I should explain that I am in Petoskey, Michigan, up here on uh, Lake Michigan. And I'm headed to the UP, which is the Upper Peninsula, if you don't know what the UP means since it seems to be like a Michigan term that only Michigan people know. But uh, a couple things I want to do up there. There's that waterfall. I don't know how to say it, so I'm not even going to try to say it. And uh, there's the Oswald Bear Place. I want to go to that. And then there is a really super crystal clear spring that I want to go see with a glass bottom boat. And pictured rocks national seashore those are my main things that i want to hit up while i'm up in the upper peninsula and uh that's the plan it's gonna get a little weird because there's really no walmarts or anything up there so i'm gonna have to get a little creative on where i park unless i just pay for campgrounds somewhere but we'll see I hope that wind's not too much on the camera. Anyways, different situation for parking up in the up in the UP, so I'll have to figure that out, but hopefully it'll be alright. So I'm walking away from the beach to find that trail that goes up that dune. That's supposed to give me a really good view of the bay here. I was going to take the trail through the campground, but in the end I just decided to take the regular uh, road route. Also lets me check out the dump station, which is right there where that fifth wheel is. So the fifth wheel's gone. Here is the dump station if you want to look at it a little bit better. Drinking water, rinsable water, and the dump, of course. Two lanes. But only one, one drain, so you'll still be waiting. Those people were listening to me and looking at me like I was crazy. Or a terrorist, I don't know which one, but... They definitely were interested in the fact that I was interested in such a stupid thing. <laughs> but I'd do it for you. Alright guys, up we go to the top of this dune. Good thing I brought some water. Little chipmunk friend already. I don't know if you saw it on the sign, 0.44 miles, moderate difficulty, so really beautiful area here though.
This is actually what I love about dunes here in Michigan. They're forested dunes. So once you get away from the beach a little bit, they turn into these really nice forested pass, paths. And it's really cool. Um, like uh, the PJ Hoffmaster State Park over in Muskegon, closer to home, has really nice trails like this all over the dunes. And this is what I like about beaches. I'm really not much of a sand person or a swimming person. I can't swim. So this is what I like about these state parks like this, where I can just get away from the crowds and hike out here in the forest. More stairs. And I've kind of been taking video and pictures along the way, so I haven't really been paying attention to pacing myself. Whew. So I'm kind of uh, worn out already. And the stairs only go up much steeper from here. But we'll make it. Now, Felix and I can go up, or down and up the uh, natural entrance at Carlsbad Caverns, then I can do this little staircase. You can check out that video. I'll pop a, I'll pop a little uh, information card up there on your screen. I think I'm almost to the top. For whatever reason, the mosquitoes aren't that bad. They're kind of around, but they don't seem to be landing and biting. So I don't know what all that's about, but... That's okay with me. Because there was the potential for this to be a very buggy, a very miserable little uphill hike. I'm confused. This was supposed to be at the overlook. And I don't see anything. Gorgeous view of the bay that I was supposed to be able to see. Oh well, it's still nice up here. But now that I'm up here, I just realized I forgot to look for geocaches here in the park. And I have no idea what water that is I'm looking at because my phone says I'm out in the middle of nowhere next to a business. Oh well. I guess I'm gonna continue on this loop. I'm not sure where it brings me. Might end up being a lot more walking than I wanna do, but it's only 7.40. Sunsets around 9.30, so I got plenty of time, and it's actually really enjoyable up here right now, so I might hang out here for a little bit, if the mosquitoes don't get too bad. And, uh, yeah, I've got to head out of here eventually, because I can't stay here tonight, and I'm not paying for a campsite here. Michigan State Parks are really expensive. I know the one I was looking at farther down the road is $21, $29 a night. I didn't check this one. I have no clue what they what they charge, but I assume it's somewhere around the same amount. So I'm not paying for that. I might farther on down the road, um, up in the UP, but not here. There's still places here to park for free, so that's what I'm gonna do. Headed back down now, but I feel like I should point out the obvious. The trail is called Old Baldy, and this is not bald. Obviously it was bald at one point when it was all sand. But this is not bald and there's no view of the bay. What's going on, Potosi State Park? You kinda lied to us on that one. 
and this trail going down is really sandy. I guess that's it guys. Right past that clearing is the road. So that's it for this little trail. And uh, I don't think I'm gonna go on the other trail. There's a little trail right there actually. But I don't think I'm gonna go on the other trail. It just goes between campgrounds I think. So nothing too exciting even though I'm sure it's awesome because it's not just between campgrounds out here, it's through all the dunes and the hills and everything, so. But otherwise, that's pretty much uh, Petoskey State Park, it looks like, for me, for this visit. Um, I'm gonna be heading back to the motorhome and then heading out of here and finding a place to park for the night. Definitely lots of squirrels here. But I'm driving by Andy, guys. I hope I drive by you soon. See you later. I don't know where I am, guys. I just did the ending video because I thought that was the end of the trail, but I went back in the woods and I don't know where I am. I don't know where this is going to lead.